July 18, 2009, Fonda legend Jack Johnson was involved in an accident. An accident that may have ended up saving his life, but it did end his storied career. By chance, after that accident, doctors found a cancerous growth on his lungs. He has not raced since. This week, a very special, unedited interview that can only be seen here on Fox 23 Fast Track. We sat down with Jumpin' Jack and found a man very at peace with the career he left and the legend he will always be. First question, Jack, how you feeling and uh, give us an update on your health. Honestly, Scott, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, I get up in the morning, I deal with it, and uh, I got some issues going on with my arms and my upper body, and I'm going to see a neurologist next week. And uh, it's the way it is. Right now, like I said, I don't even think about it. I just deal with it. Has it been easy to come to terms with the fact that you won't be racing anymore? Not really, especially with Ronnie racing. I mean, I'm around the garage all the time. I'm proud of what he does. Uh, I, race, I race through him, so I'm just lucky to have a bunch of people around. I got a good support group. My wife is tremendous with me. Uh, I drive her crazy, but uh, other than that, I'll tell you, life is great. When you look back on the career, you've obviously had a lot of wins. What's been the most rewarding part of your career? Just having a bunch of great guys around me for so many years, and they're still here, and uh, to me that means something. I mean, I, I have the same guys that raced with me in 72. They're still here today, and they're helping Ronnie today. It means an awful lot to me. Obviously, the numerous track championships at Fonda Speedway. Has there been any race either there, Syracuse, anywhere in the Northeast that stands out as one that you hang your hat on? Well, like I said before, uh, I'm really proud to be the first New Yorker to win Syracuse in 79. I guess that's one of the standouts for me. What was it like to just get in the car and get next to race against the likes of Lou Lazaro and Pete Corey and Bob McCready, Andy Romano, some of those guys that are, have you know, since retired, but what was it like to get next to them, race with them, to have the honor of racing with them? Well, it was a real honor, especially guys like Louis Corey, guys that I idolized when I was growing up. Uh, I'd sit in that race car and good goose pimples and think, man, this is awesome. Did you ever get intimidated by those guys? Not really. I never did. Like I said, my father always taught me as a young guy, uh, they put your, their pants on the same way you do and just go out there and race and do the best you can. That's the way I did it. Now that your career is, is, is wound down and you've got Ronnie continuing the, the family tradition, what does it mean to you on a personal level, level, on a fatherly level, to have Ronnie follow in your footsteps? Well, it means a lot. Not that I ever pushed Ronnie to race. I mean, it's something he just naturally did on his own. Uh, I'm really proud of him. I like the way he carries himself. He's uh, well-mannered on the racetrack, off the racetrack, and I hope he races. I like to think he races just like I did. What's it like to watch him race? Is it more nerve-wracking than if you're in the car than to, to watch him race? Yeah, it really is because, you know what, I really know some of the moves he should be making, and sometimes he doesn't, and I want to just, uh, I wish I had a radio, but it doesn't work like that. But he catches on real fast, fast and I'm really proud of him. Him winning his first track championship in Fonda Speedway this year, uh, how much did that mean to you? I mean, you've done it numerous times, and here he's got one, too. You know what? Uh, like I said, the championships, they come by wins. And I always wanted the race to win, but, you know, I re knew he really wanted to win a championship at Fonda, and it really did mean a lot to me for him to win that as much as it did him. Now, even after all these years, you're still a fan favorite. You always will be. Some of these fans now weren't even alive when you were racing, and they come up to you and they idolize you. What does that mean to you? It means a lot. It really does, especially... Uh, I mean, I walk through the pits of Fonda, come in the parking lot, and it means a lot for them fans to be still there and to think maybe I must have done something right through all them years, you know, and uh, it's really an honor. It really is. A couple of years ago when Fonda Speedway, you, they brought you out for their uh, most popular driver. Drivers signed things for you, other fellow drivers. When you have the, the support of the fans and then you have the support of the uh, fellow drivers, that's got to be special as well. It sure is, and I'm so glad uh, that them guys still respect me the way they do, and I, I tell you what, I never had a bad word to, with too many race drivers through my whole racing career, and I like to think that they're still my friends, even outside of racing. One final question, when you look back and, um, you know, you're sitting in a rocker someday and, you know, you're watching Ronnie win championships, when people look back and they think of Jack Johnson, what do you want them to think of? 
It's just that I was uh, naturally a good race car driver, I mean, but it goes a lot farther than that. Just, that was a fair guy.